Hi, I'm Olivia and today I want to answer a question that I get asked a lot and that is when to start learning kanji. Now I've touched on this topic a few times in other videos and whenever it comes up I always say that it's best to start learning kanji as soon as possible. But today I want to go into a bit more detail and specify exactly when you should start learning kanji in relation to any other materials that you might be using. And also talk about how learning kanji early will really benefit you in all other aspects of learning Japanese. So to jump right in there's two main routes that you can take when you are trying to learn kanji. The first method is learning kanji in a way where you are not learning the readings of the kanji. So you're only going to be learning to recognize a kanji and know what that meaning is in English. So a popular method that fits into this category would be RTK, remembering the kanji. Since these methods don't require you to learn the anyomi and kunyomi readings, you're not going to need to know hiragana. So if you decide that you want to do this method, you can start right away on your first day of learning Japanese. You don't have to do anything in advance before you can jump right in. Option number two would be learning the kanji and the readings at the same time, and that is what I did using wanikani. Since with this method you are learning the readings, you're going to want to know hiragana. So the only thing that I recommend that you know before starting this method is to have a really general understanding of hiragana. All you need to know is how to read a kana chart. You don't have to have it memorized. You can simply look up characters when you don't know what they are. So with this method, you can also start pretty soon after a couple of days of getting familiar with hiragana. So with either method, you can start learning kanji really early, and I really recommend that you do that. You don't need to know any vocabulary as yet. You don't need a textbook. You don't need to be learning grammar. You can really jump into learning kanji right away. I really don't recommend that you learn kanji from a textbook because they introduce it pretty slowly and they pretty much rely on rote memorization, which isn't the most effective way to memorize something. I would really recommend instead that you use a spaced repetition system like RTK or Wanikani. Textbooks are really great for reinforcing that kanji knowledge, but I recommend that you learn them for the first time using a separate method. This point ties into why I recommend that you start learning kanji as soon as possible because it will really affect what learning resources you can use and you'll get a lot more out of them if if you already know some kanji. Not knowing a lot of kanji will limit what resources you can use without having a ton of frustration and so it will kind of stunt your progress. So for example with vocabulary I really found it difficult to learn vocabulary words that had kanji in them that I hadn't learned as yet. I found it a lot easier to learn the kanji on its own separately and then later learn vocabulary words that use those kanji. The same thing happens with grammar textbooks. There will be a lot of kanji in the example sentences and if you don't know them it will get a bit frustrating. I found when I was going through the second Genki textbook, I really was having difficulty because there were so many kanji in it that I hadn't learned as yet. And it just made it really frustrating for me to do the reading passages and the other exercises because I just had to look up so many kanji. So knowing the kanji in a textbook ahead of time, or at least a good chunk of them, will make it a much smoother process and you'll be able to focus more on the grammar. The same thing goes for if you're trying to get into immersion through reading, you're going to be really limited to what you can read because normal books will have kanji in them. It's only children's books and resources for learners that are hiragana only and so you're gonna have a really limited selection if that's what you're trying to do. So knowing a lot of kanji will mean you can jump into reading sooner. So if you've just started learning Japanese and you're feeling overwhelmed with all the decisions that you have to make, let me make it nice and easy for you. All you have to do to get started is to learn hiragana and you don't need to have it memorized, just know how to read a kana chart so that you can quickly look at it for reference and choose a spaced repetition system for learning kanji. That's all you need to do. You don't need to worry about textbooks right now or vocabulary lists, just focus on that until you build a nice routine and are starting to feel more comfortable and confident and then you can start adding more resources and you can check out this video for my tips on how to do that without getting too overwhelmed if you found this video useful make sure you give it a thumbs up and that is all for today and i'll see you soon